what I'm going to talk about today is a research grant that we received from, the, from ALTC. This grant um, is called uh, Virtual Prex, Virtual Professional Experience, and it's a research project with the University of New England, Charles Sturt University, um, Australian Catholic University, Curtin University, RMIT, and the University of Hamburg. So there's quite an um, international coll collaboration happening. What the project is about is um, for our pre-service teachers to practice their professional experience before going into the classroom. These students are able to do this with, um, by role-playing their teaching with their peers or through both bots. Now when they um, go role-playing with their peers, they have to create a seven-minute um, teaching scenario and teach this to their peers and the peers have roles to play. They are either a good student or a naughty student and there's about eight students in a classroom in this role play. So these teachers have to work out ways in which to engage the students in their class. You'll see a uh, role play happening where the teachers are working out strategies to engage the students in their um, lesson and many different strategies have been created which is quite excellent. What the project also is going to achieve is that the teachers can go in asynchronously and teach by themselves but with bots and bots are um, short name for robots where they can um, click on a button and activate bots that can take on the roles of either a naughty or a good student and again they can learn strategies to um, implement to get the um, bots engaged in their lesson. Now the reason why the students would be doing this is before they go out onto professional experience, they um, don't have any exposure to the classroom obviously because when they start, they're new. And this way they can practice their teaching and learn um, to get things right before they actually take these um, experiences into the classroom. And they can also um, practice in a risk-free environment where they, if they make a mistake, they're not going to harm anyone, their peers or their bots. Also around this uh, grant are accessible tasks. So machinima, which is what is being played, these can be used as accessible tasks. They can say what worked, what didn't work, how could it be done better, um, what needs improving, what doesn't need improving. And there'll be a whole... Um, lot of about 40 machinimas or in-world videos for students to use for accessible tasks. Now these accessible tasks can be self-assessment, peer assessment, um, formative and summative assessment. This grant was received um, at the beginning of 2011 and runs till December 2012.